Hello friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. We know that uh, communication can either be analog or digital. And we also know that uh, today everything is going digital. So here we will understand what is the importance and what are the benefits of uh, digitalization when compared to analog communication. So and here we will also discuss disadvantages of digital communication so first uh, let's start with the advantages of digital communication so first of all we will discuss the advantages Digital communication systems are simpler and cheaper in implementation as compared to analog communication systems. This has become possible due to advancements in uh, integrated circuits, IC technologies. Okay? These ICs are very small, reliable and cost effective. Such ICs are used in digital communication. So, our first advantage is so these digital communication systems are simpler okay this is due to the advancements of IC technologies these ICs are highly reliable cheap and also cost effective they are very small in size okay so this is the first advantage now Let's come to the second advantage of digital communication. In digital communication, it is possible to use multiplexing to merge speech, video and other forms of data for transmission over a common channel. The second advantage is the possibility of multiplexing. multiplexing is possible the do you know what is multiplexing multiplexing may be of different types like uh, frequency division uh, multiplexing okay or uh, time division multiplexing code division multiplexing so we will not discuss it because uh, because of the time shortage we will uh, discuss the third point now the third advantage of using digital communication is high level of privacy can be obtained in digital communication using data encryption technique this privacy provides the facility to allow the transmitted signals to be received only by the permitted receivers okay this privacy feature is of great importance in military applications so our third point is the high level of privacy okay high level of privacy and it is because of using data encryption technique okay and it founds application in military okay now let's come to the fourth advantage the fourth advantage is in digital communication channel encoding is used because of this encoding 
there is less accumulation of noise from repeater to repeater in case of long distance communication so this is our fourth advantage that uh, less accumulation of noise from a repeater to repeater in long distance communication this has become possible due to encoding actually encoding is used in digital communication which makes it uh, less prone to accumulate noise okay not only this the digital signals tend to be less affected by noise they are less affected by noise as compared to analog signals so this is another important point they are less affected by noise now let's come to the fifth advantage It is possible to perform lots of operations on uh, digital signals like uh, digital signal processing, data compression, image processing and many others. So we can perform many operations like uh, digital signal processing, data compression. or image processing etc okay digital signal processing is known as DSP okay now we will see the sixth advantage it is easy to detect and correct errors in uh, digital communication this easy detection and correction of uh, errors becomes possible due to the use of channel coding in digital communication. So, easy to detect and correct errors. So, it is possible due to channel coding. So, friends, these were the advantages of using uh, digital communication, which uh, encourages the use of digital communication in place of uh, analog communication. Now, we will uh, also discuss some uh, disadvantages that are associated with the digital communication. So, let's now come to the disadvantages. Okay, let's start one by one. Number one, more transmission bandwidth is required in uh, digital communication as compared to analog communication. This is due to the increase in data rate when analog signal is uh, converted into digital signal. It is due to the a to D conversion, analog to digital conversion. The data rate increases. So more transmission bandwidth is required. More digital conversion. Clear? The second disadvantage of using digital communication in case of synchronous modulation synchronization is required synchronization is required where it is required in synchronous modulation okay now come to the third disadvantage due to various stages used in conversion high power consumption is another drawback 
of digital communication. So third drawback is high power consumption. This is why due to various conversion stages. Okay. Our fourth disadvantage is sampling error is introduced in the sampling of signal. We know that uh, sampling is used in digital communication so sampling error is introduced while sampling process in the sampling process so it also creates some problems The fifth disadvantage, circuits that are used are more complex and sophisticated as compared to analog communication. So the circuits okay, so we saw here that uh, there are both advantages and disadvantages of digital communication but the advantages are more in comparison to disadvantages right so this is all about the analysis of digital communication based on its benefits and drawbacks so friends if you found this video helpful and worth watching then please like and share it to spread the knowledge and to get more such useful and interesting videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye